Hello YouTube viewers, welcome to part 2 of Black Barbie Doll Makeup. Um, next, let's start with the base. I'm using Urban Decay's Primer Potion. Ooh, that is way too much. There we go. You do not need a lot. I don't even think this is too much right here. Oops. Apply it all over this. Apply it all over. Blend, blend, blend. Okay. Next we're taking a transition color. I'm taking a nice fluffy brush right here. And then first I'm actually going to go in with my CoverGirl Ebony Bronze. Very lightly. Pop any excess. There you go. Um, next, I'm actually taking this pink and uh, the Wet n Wild Trio Spool Brat. This thing is really jacked up, so please excuse it. I'm going to first lightly apply. And we're going to build as we go. I'm going to start off very lightly. And build. That's a good way to start off right there. Next, I'm actually going to take my NYX Jumbo Pencil in Milk. Apply that directly to my lid. It's okay to cake it on because we need a lot of color payoff for this to work. And then pat, but don't pat it out too much. Like so. And before we do that, I'm actually going to take me a cosmetic sponge. I should have done this in the beginning. And we're going to take that translucent powder. And to protect my eyes, under eyes from the fallout, I'm actually going to take and cake a lot on. This is a nice trick right here where if you have some, all you got to do is just brush it off after you're done. So yeah, I look a little mad silly, but it works out. There we go. <laughs> silly face. <laughs> okay, serious mode. And next, we're taking the star of the show, the Milani uh, Bella Eye Gel Powder Eyeshadow in Bella Violet. I'm going to take my eyelid brush, pack that on, and apply like so. Only on my lids. Packing, not swiping. Alrighty. And then going back in with that pink shade. And adding a little bit more. Making the outer corner more intense and then the inner corner less intense. Remember chocolate girls, colors are our friends, not our enemies, okay? Here we go. And then next, <coughs> excuse me. I'm actually going to take a dark purple from this e.l.f. Uh, Beauty Encyclopedia and I'm taking this dark plummy color right here and a nice little pencil-like brush. Ooh, don't swirl like that. Fall out like crazy. And we're going to take it in the outer V. Kind of basically mapping out where we want it to be. Because we're going to blend. So it may look a little funky at first, but don't be scared. I was going to go back in with, this is actually a crease brush. Take powder out of it. We're actually going to sit there and just blend. 
everything out. Like so. And then actually take my actual brush and just blend. And we actually can take a little bit of that pink again. It's just like building up color. That's all it is, really. Building up the color so the color payoff is to your liking. And if it looks a little choppy at the top, just take your regular face powder. And then just right above it, kind of blend out those lines. And then we're actually going to go back into that Milani Bella Violet because it kind of covered up a little bit of the lid. And then just pack it right back on. That's all you got to do. Here we go. And then next we're going to take the black. And a this little brush again, and focus only on her outer portion right here, no farther. And then slightly blend, don't blend too much or else it'll start looking a little faded. Just enough where it's not harsh. Alrighty, and for the highlight, I just like to take a beige type of shade. So I'm taking out of this little quad right here. And packing it and then focusing solely on that brow bone. I have to use a purple in it. That is so my fault. It's okay, just take a brush. Blend really good. And then face powder also. And then back into the pink, see, adding as we go. Okay, and for our lower lash line, we're just going back into the purple and we're taking it midway right here. Now I'll wait into the inner corner because I have a special color for that. And taking the dark purple. For the outer corner. No need for black. Like so. And for the inner corner, I'm actually taking this unique, beautiful shade. I'm going to take this brush again, and it's like a, it's hard to explain, but you'll see as soon as I apply this color right here. It looks white, but it winds up turning like into like this beautiful uh, light blue with hues of, like a, I don't know, it's just hard to explain until you see it, but it's gorgeous. I have yet to find a color like it. Like so, it's really pretty. Okay, and since we're not gonna be working with shadows anymore, take that fluffy brush and just wipe it off. And go back to your face powder if you don't want a white cast like this, which that's a no-go. There we go. Hm. Next liquid liner, I'm taking Elf's liquid liner and I won't be talking too much because I gotta focus where I'll mess up.
don't have to take it all the way in. There we go. Liner put on. Next we're taking a cool pencil. If I can find my cool pencil. Where'd you go? Oh, here we go. <laughs> By Jordana. It's a 12 hour made to last pencil. We're doing our waterline. And then mascara, taking NYC and Sky Rise. You can add uh, lashes if you want to, but I'm not going to. I'm just gonna put one coat. So I'm really not trying to do too much mascara with this. Like so. And for the main event, the lips. First, we're taking in uh, me NYX and uh, prune, and you're gonna line the lips pretty roughly. And then we're taking a darker liner by. Um, Palladio and the color Raisin and really adding that in there. Alrighty. That's how it looks. And then we're taking my favorite um Pink, uh, Dollhouse Pink by Wet n Wild. And then... I'm gonna blend. This is an intense color. Yes, I look silly doing that. <laughs> those outer corners and almost done you are done thank you guys for watching this is the black barbie doll makeup look i hope you guys learned a lot thank you bye